Hi guys, so as you can obviously tell, I am back from Florida um, and I managed to find so many cute things while I was there. I do have mostly vintage pieces. I do have some things that aren't vintage and then like books, DVDs, that kind of thing that isn't vintage. Um, so I'm going to be starting out with the vintage pieces because I feel like that's the most exciting part. First thing that I have is this dress and it is a cream little dress. It's a little nice shift dress and it has this kind of like, it's not lace, it's, I don't know what this is, but it's kind of like a meshy kind of texture so it is a bit see-through on the sleeves which is really cute and then at the front it has that same kind of meshy material it's kind of like a bib collar um, and then it has these really cute little ruffles going along the shoulders um, and a little bow going up at the front the next thing that I got is a cape and I'm obsessed with this color I think it's absolutely stunning um, and it is this bright royal blue and it looks like this and it's just like a standard cape and then it has the little holes for your arms um, and I actually really love the lining on it. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but it has all these really beautiful like flowers on it that I think actually looks really, really pretty. So I can't wait for the fall so that I can actually wear this and just kind of layer it over like some sweaters and like some black tights and some black like patent boots or something. I also picked up some magazines while I was away and I'm a sucker for vintage magazines. I love looking through them and seeing all the old advertisements and just sitting down and actually reading the magazines because I feel like modern magazines don't have as much to read as older ones do. Like I can totally see why people before used to actually like sit down and read magazines like girls used to actually spend time reading magazines and I did that growing up as well which I find that those magazines also had a little bit more to read but now I feel like there's just so many ads and just so many photos that you don't really actually spend that much time reading them. I can flip through magazines very quickly now but with the older ones I actually like take my time and read everything. So one of the first ones I got was this one. It's Teen Magazine and this one is from... Um, July 1964. This is easily one of the most entertaining magazines I have ever read. It is amazing on the inside like there's photographs as well as a lot of like different um, so like there's like obviously photographs but then there's also like a lot of reading and it has a bunch of those like question and answer columns which I think is really interesting. There's actually a few different ones in this magazine so I sat down and actually read them um, and then it has all these like vintage ads on it as well. Um, and then what else? There are some really beautiful illustrations on it as well. Like this is an ad for scotch tape and it shows you different ways you can add it to your hair so you can create curls with it. So I just, I really like the way that they kind of like set up the entire magazine and I had such a fun time when I was reading it. I've only gone through like half of it, but I'm really excited to finish it. I looked online to see if I can find some other like versions of this like other magazines from like different months but I've had no luck so far so I'm not really sure if it just wasn't that popular or like what the deal is but I haven't been able to find any so if you happen to see any of these like online if you're looking for some vintage magazines let me know send me some links so the other magazines that I got are life magazine so this one looks like this and it has this kind of like, I don't want to say, it's like a uniform, like a girl roadside service, like I guess it's the girls that like bring you food, I guess. It kind of looks like a cheerleading uniform, not really sure. I haven't actually read the magazine, so um, there's that one. And then I also got this other Life magazine, um, and it looks like this, and there's just a girl in like a diner or like a like a milk with a milkshake um, and this one is from January 18th 1943 and then the first one that I showed you was from February 26th 1940 um, and yeah I'm really excited to look through these I haven't actually looked through these yet I just kind of like I like looked through them as and I skipped through them I haven't actually like sat down and read them okay so next thing that I got that was also vintage it is a belt and it is like a maroon colored belt and it is really nice and small. I have a really hard time finding belts that actually fit my waist. Like I don't know what it is but I feel like modern stores like Everyone wears high-waisted pants, right? So I don't understand why all the belts seem to be still be made for like low-rise jeans. Like they are so long and even like the extra small sized belt, I still have to add extra holes and like I have this huge like piece of leather still hanging out because my the belt is actually too long. And it's not just me, like I even when you see it on mannequins and it's like super long and like I just don't understand why no one's making like belts for high-waisted pants. Anyway, so um, I got this one. It is like a maroon color and I think this would be really, really nice for the fall. I love the buckle on it. It's very mod um, and it's kind of made in like, like a woven kind of material, but it's like plastic. It's not like 
that soft stretchy material. All of this vintage stuff is all from the same store. It's called the Lovely Boutique and I will put all the addresses and like links down below but it is incredible. I could have spent hours literally just looking through the store because it had home decor as well as clothing so I could literally just look through everything. They had so many books and so many magazines and it was just really fun for me to just look through all the pieces. But anyway so I did end up picking up a few more things from this one store. Um, I got two handbags so this one is a cream colored one um, and it has this kind of gold Thing going across the top that's where it opens so that's kind of like the clasp um, and then on the inside it's this really pretty peachy gold color and it does have a little coin purse like attached to it I have a few coins in there because I used it yesterday um, but yeah it's really really pretty this will be really nice going into the fall and for the winter just because it is cream and it's kind of like a taupey kind of cream so I feel like it'll match a lot of outfits so that's really great um, and then the other bag that I got is from the 1950s and it looks like this and it is black so it's a really nice casual like staple bag that I can just kind of grab for like any outfit really and to open it you just kind of press this little like rectangle and then it opens and then on the inside it's just like black and it, these both these bags are in perfect condition like I'm actually surprised at how like well they've maintained them because they are literally perfect and then the last two things that I got from the store are two hats so one is this really big blue hat that kind of got squished on the plane so that's unfortunate but I mean I'm still gonna wear it anyway um, and I just think it is so cute it can be very mod like you know sometimes you see like the ads from the 60s or like the fashion shoots and they had these like enormous hats and they're just like posing like like it's casual to wear a hat this big so this is what I'm going for I think it's amazing I love this color it'll match with so many things uh, so make sure you check it out it's gonna be on my Instagram as well as on my blog once I shoot it you guys know I'm gonna be shooting with that like obviously um, and then the second hat and the last thing that I got from the store is this little baby yellow hat that kind of looks like a bird's nest and it's stunning like I, it's absolutely beautiful like they don't really make hats like this anymore like pillbox hats like this I just think they're really beautiful and fun and I obviously I have this like baby yellow shift dress that I think it would look so beautiful with so I really want to wear that before the summer's over just so I can enjoy this hat a little bit before it starts getting too cold um, so yeah I really really love it I do have three dresses that are not vintage but I am in love with them because they do kind of have a vintage feel to them um, they have a more 1940s kind of look to them I usually tend to stick to the 50s and the 60s but I was really drawn to these and I was just kind of feeling very romantic so I was like okay let me look at these and then 1940s looking dresses anyway so the first one looks like this so it is kind of like a faux linen looking dress when you actually look closely to it I think they tried to like replicate the texture of linen on it like the the colors and everything so it looks like it could be linen but it's just like a soft like cotton or polyester or whatever it is it is like this cream color and it has these bright orange dots on it and I was so drawn to these polka dots like usually I don't find polka dots in different colors I usually just see them in like black and white or red and white but usually you don't really see orange and I'm one of those people that just loves orange I don't know why everyone hates on orange when it's such a great color it does come with a little belt that you can tie it around your waist with just to kind of like cinch it in but I actually prefer the look of it with an actual belt kind of like the one that I bought but I'm looking for one like this in brown I think that would look really nice with this dress and I think it also gives it a more like vintage like authentic look to it versus like these kind of like stringy things okay the next thing that I got is another polka dot dress and this one is blue and white this is a little bit more common like I feel like this is a pretty standard dress but I just thought it was very pretty um, so it looks like this so it has has a more like sweetheart neckline at the very top and then it has these ruffles that kind of go along your shoulder and it creates kind of like this really structured silhouette at the top which I really like and sorry those two dresses are from Marshalls which is kind of like winners so um just so you know and then the last dress that is not vintage is this little guy here and this one's actually from Forever 21 and I was shocked I went in there just kind of like browsing you know looking for belts and I saw this dress as part of their like back to school section I guess and it is so beautiful I love these colors. It has these kind of red flower poppy looking flowers on it as well as these little like light blue leaves and I just think it's really beautiful and again it has that collar neckline and all these buttons going along the front and then also it has these like short sleeves that also have a little bit of a puff to them which I think is really cute it adds a little bit more of a feminine touch to it which I really like and then the next thing that I have is probably the randomest purchase that I made on this trip and it is a beach cooler and it looks like this I think it's incredible I'm obsessed with this it has kind of like a colorful 
beautiful gingham color to it. Um, you can remove these long straps, which is what I'm probably going to do because I hate long straps. So I'll probably just carry it like this. Um, I don't think this would hold a lot of like really heavy food, but I can always just use it as a beach bag and throw like my sunscreen and stuff like that inside so that it doesn't melt with the heat. Um, and I just think this would be so cute just walking along the beach with my matching bathing suit. Like, what do you guys think? I think it's like so much fun. It's a circle, first of all. I love structured bags, so this was just calling my name. The last few things that I have are books and DVDs. Um, and the first one that I got is The Umbrellas of Scherenberg. And this is a French film. If you haven't seen this, highly recommend it if you're into watching foreign films that have subtitles, like if you don't need it to actually be in whatever language you speak. This one is all in French. I watched it online and I've had such a hard time actually finding a copy of it to own because on Amazon they usually have it but they have a different setting so that I can't watch it on like US and Canadian DVD players. So I found this one at Indigo and I was just really surprised that they even had it. So uh, got Blow Up which is also one of those movies that I've had a really hard time being able to actually purchase. Um, it's a really classic movie if you like photography or fashion or like the 1960s you've probably heard of this movie you've probably seen it. I, I know I watched it while I was in school studying photography so uh, yeah it's a pretty well-known movie. Um, and then I got three books. One of them is The Beatles A Hard Day's Right and this is pretty much a book about every single Beatles song and an explanation of why it was written and I thought this was so interesting. I was stuck on the plane for like two hours coming home like before we actually took off and I spent some time reading it and it was so interesting. Not only was it interesting to see what each song like why it was written or like what the inspiration was from but it was just it referenced so many other songs and movies and just different inspiration that they had so I wish I would have actually read this while I had my laptop with me because I would have like read and then like research and listen to the song and do this and like you know kind of back and forth so I only read the first like 100 pages so I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna go back and like start it over again just so that I can have actually like research the stuff beside me and then from the vintage store actually I got this um, life great photographs series remembering Audrey so it's pretty much a book about Audrey Hepburn and it's just photographs so it's a nice little like coffee table book there is a little bit of text on it but it's pretty much just photographs so yeah this is from the vintage store too I don't know why I didn't include that in the first bundle but I'm actually surprised at the amount of things that I bought I think because the first few days when we were shopping I found nothing I was just not really interested in the things that they were selling or it just wasn't what I was kind of going for and then once we went to the vintage store my shopaholic just kind of came out and I ended up buying so many new things um, but yeah it was really really fun I had a great time in Florida I'm really happy with everything that I got I'm excited for the beginning of the fall I feel like it's starting to get a little bit colder now in the mornings and at night so I'm not really sure exactly what kind of things I'm gonna be doing for the fall so let me know if you have any requests in the comments below as well as what your favorite piece was and I will see you guys next time bye Also, guys, I want to cut my hair, but I don't know how to cut it. Like, part of me is like, should I do like a 1940s, like, midi, like, whatever that's called, haircut so that I can have the curls going along and be really romantic? Or if I should get like a short, like, blunt, mod kind of haircut and just kind of keep my bangs or make them a little bit heavier? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I don't know what to do. I never know what to do with my hair. I feel like I've spent like so many weeks being like, should I cut my hair? Should I not cut my hair? What should I do? Let me know in the comments below because I don't know what to do. Okay, bye.